what's up guys welcome to this new series where we are explaining uh, the pro uh, the program which uh, uh, which you guys post on our comments now uh, this is a new program and uh, uh, in the previous one we saw uh, how uh, the, the, the to find whether the three points are collinear or not uh, in th in this uh, video we will be uh, covering whether a date given to us by a user is legitimate or not now what do i mean by a legitimate date uh, say now if i say 32 december of 1990 now 32 d uh, december does not exist now d in december there are only 31 days right so that's not a legitimate date but if i say first december that means that the date exists so it's a legitimate date now let's see uh, what we need to consider uh, now these I have just listed the months with uh, the number of days in them uh, now in if in your childhood uh, you remember you maybe uh, have done a poem uh, which I had actually uh, and uh, my teacher taught me uh, the poem was such that 30 days has September April June and November all the rest have 31 except February alone now if you guys remember or maybe have heard about this poem now this makes it easier to remember how many days are there in a month now if you want you can go back and play my uh, the part where I was singing and just maybe you can recollect it now these are fairly simple uh, except February for the uh, uh, years except for February now in February there are 28 days but in the leap year there are 29 days okay so uh, now uh, you'll be thinking how do you find the leap year now if if you say that uh, only by uh, knowing whether the year is divisible by 4 I can say it is a leap year then I would say it's wrong now I'll explain you in detail what is a leap year now let's look at the concept of leap year now this is a earth which is in uh, blue color and the sun now this uh, earth is revolving around the sun continuously and uh, uh, the, the time taken by it to revolve around the uh, uh, the sun is uh, c uh, considered to be one year right now so how many uh, in one year uh, f for exact uh, one revolu revolution around the sun earth takes 36 uh, 365.242375 days these this is the exact number and uh, you typically know that we have 365 days right so now if you consider the difference now you are looking at around 0 0.242375 difference now this is a very huge amount so they came up with uh, some strategies uh, so that they can overcome uh, this difference now let's discuss the strategies and the rules that have been given to us now uh, the rule one states that every 400th year is a leap year uh, so according to that uh, uh, 1600 2000 and uh, 2400 are leap years now looking at the second rule that is it states that every 100th year is not leap year now in this case the rule one is still valid apart from uh, uh, the 400th year every 100th year is not a leap year now you're looking at uh, 1700 1800 uh, 1900 and we have skipped the 2000 year because uh, the rule one states that 2000 year is a leap year right so apart from them all are not uh, all the others are not leap year now the rule 3 states that every every leap year or every fourth year is a leap year or every year that is divisible by 4 is a leap year up uh, now uh, while we're doing that the f the rule 1 and rule 2 should be uh, satisfied now every fourth year is a leap year so that means that uh, 2012 2016 and 2020 are leap years now we'll be using this to test out uh, the, the leap uh, the, the date validation uh, in the program so uh, this is what we'll be using in our algorithm so now let's jump into the code so I just created a file uh, name saying date valid and dot uh, C and I'll just uh, include uh, stdio now I'll just pause for a moment and I'll just be writing down some macros that I'll be using now I just defined the macros uh, for every 
month and the corresponding position uh, in the year that's january is first and december is the 12th one now we'll just be looking at uh, writing the code now first we'll take input from the user so we'll display a message saying uh, enter a date in dd space mm space yyy format and then we'll just take the uh, uh, we'll prepare the uh, variables that we'll be requiring to store the day month and year so day month and year now we'll be taking the input for uh, these values here so now that we uh, have just uh, scanned the input from the user now we need to write the logic to validate this date now we know that uh, in every month uh, there are predefined dates except for february that varies according to the leap year now first uh, for doing this we'll just define a switch case uh, where we'll have the case for each and every month now i'll just write the uh, this uh, skeleton of this uh, switch i'll just be pausing the video for a moment because uh, otherwise it will get too long now i just completed the switch i just wrote down the maybe the uh, the skeleton that is required for the switch now uh, the first cases i have written for january uh, march may june august october and december which have 31 days then i have grouped uh, those which have 30 days then i have a separate column for a uh, separate case for february that is that can have 28 or 29 days depending on the leap year and for if suppose the user enters invalid input for that i have a default case now i know that these months have i know that these months have 31 days right so i'll just check if uh, if the day which the user has entered should be less than or equal to 31 right and i'll be putting one more condition saying that if suppose user enters some negative number so i'll just also take care of that so i'll put and day should be greater than 0 because it's not a valid date right so if that's the case then what i'll do i'll just print print f saying that it is it is a valid date date okay now the same will be for the case in which we have uh, once we have 30 days so uh, i'll write if in this case the day should be greater than uh, sorry uh, should be less than or equal to 30 right and also the negative case saying that day should be greater than 0 then i'll print that it is a valid date so i'll just copy paste this saying that it's a valid okay uh now uh, for the february case i need to first check whether it is a leap year or not so i'll have uh, to check uh, all the three rules i hope you remember them i'll just pull them out so that you can remember now these were the rules that we said so first we need to check if it is a 400th year it, if it's so then it is a leap year and if it is divisible by 4 then it's a leap year all the rest a cases uh, uh, or the 100th year is not a leap year so i'll just have to write three ifs for these cases so i'll write down say if your year is divisible by 400 then it's a leap year okay so in this case the date can be of maximum uh, uh till 29 right so 29 so we'll write the if it is a valid input so if it is not satisfied then uh, it's not a valid date now we have checked the 200th year right so now we need to check for the 100th year so i'll just write 
else else if if the year is divisible by 100 the, uh, then it should ha it should have at the max 28 days right so i'll just uh, be copy pasting this part and i'll just change the required that is in this case we need to have at the we can have at the max 28 days right so uh, this is for for uh, the uh, divisibility by 100 okay i forgot i just wrote it is valid dates it is i should write not a valid date not a valid date and the last case that i need to consider else and if it is now if it is divisible by 4 then it's a leap year again so i'll just write down if then it's a leap year so i can have at the max 29 days so i'll just copy it and so yes we are done with the leap year now apart from this the rest all have 28 days right so i'll just write an l saying it should have 28 days now i'll just copy paste the 28 days one and so we are almost done checking now uh, just i forgot to mention uh, that here whether it's invalid or not so i'll just uh, quickly write them i'll just paste them everywhere okay so and we need to handle just one case that is if user input some negative number or uh, some number which is which is greater than 12 that like so we'll just uh, print a message saying that it is not a valid valid date so by this i think uh, we are done with this program we'll just execute this code and see if it is uh, it's validating properly so i'll just compile and run it so now it's popular oh i should have not written the case over here so I'll, uh, so now i think it should be have no so hopefully now it should execute properly so we'll enter 29th of february 2000 now you know that 2000 the leap years of 29th exist so it's a valid date now uh, let's see if it validates uh, other few cases so how about 29th of february of 1900 year right it is not a leap year so it shouldn't it is a not a valid date right so we we are getting proper output and we'll check for some other case that is we'll check for say 31st november 31st november of 2000 now there are only 30 days in november right so it's not a valid date so we i think this is the proper code we have executed properly i hope you understand this code and every bit of it and uh, now uh, the full explanation on the leap year why these three rules came i'll have a link in the description where i'll explain you in detail why they came up with these three rules apart from that i hope the code is understood properly and uh, do like our video and subscribe our channel and if you want any code that uh, should uh, that uh, you want us to solve uh, please write in the comment section and uh, we'll try to post the video in maybe t uh, one or two days and thank you